today I'm going to show you how to make this galaxy lamp. I think that a lamp is the perfect object to add a galaxy design to. By day, it looks like a normal boring white lamp, but at night you can turn it on to get a little taste of outer space. I love the way this project turned out, and if you want to see how I did it, keep on watching. Essentially, all I did was print out a galaxy design and glue it to the inside of a lamp so that when the lamp is turned on, the galaxy print shows through. Now, this particular DIY involved a lot of trial and error because there was no set of instructions to follow. I tried a lot of different methods and I failed a lot, but I ultimately came up with something that worked. But first, here's what didn't work. Don't use a lamp that is shaped like this. Use a cylindrical lamp. Trust me, it's much easier. I ruined this one. Don't have too much overlap with your sheets of paper. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Oh, and don't slice your finger open. I definitely don't advise that. To start with, print out any galaxy design. Just Google the word galaxy and you'll come up with tons of images. Print one out and cut it out. Here, I'm measuring my lamp. There are two important measurements. The first is height. My lamp is just shy of eight inches, so I'm cutting my galaxy design into a rectangle that is seven and three fourths inches tall. The next important measurement is the radius, which I'm using to find the circumference or the distance around the circle. Since I need the design to go around 25 inches and the design that I printed out is only 10 inches, this tells me that I have to print out two and a half of these designs to cover the entire lamp. Now all I'm doing is placing the paper inside of the lamp. You want the galaxy design to be facing the outside. I just painted a bit of Mod Podge onto the galaxy design and then I stuck the paper inside the lamp. I'd suggest pressing every bit of paper into the lamp so that you don't get any air bubbles. So here's the deal about overlap. When you overlap two pieces of paper inside of the lamp, it will show when you turn the light on. So you want to overlap as little as possible. There's a seam on the lamp right here. So what I'm doing is overlapping the two sheets of paper behind this seam so that the line that you would normally see when the light is turned on gets hidden behind this seam. Since I have to insert a third sheet of paper to make it all the way around, I'm going to create another fake seam. Basically, I just cut out a very tall, thin, rectangular piece of paper and then used it to cover up that overlap. Again, this tutorial basically just comes down to gluing paper with a design on it into the inside of a lamp. The only other special thing that I had to do was line the top and bottom of the lamp with ribbon. Here's why. The top and bottom of the lamp that I bought had these really weird ridges that were kind of uneven and this made it impossible to stick the paper all the way up to the edge. So unfortunately when you turn the lamp on you can still see light coming through these edges. You might not have this problem depending on the lamp that you buy, but if you do I fixed it by taking a ribbon and gluing it around the top and bottom edges of my lamp. This will give the lamp dark borders around the top and bottom, but I don't mind this at all. So that's all there is to it. If you liked this tutorial, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments, suggestions, or requests down below. Don't forget to check the description box below for more information, and thanks for watching!